the when Harry asked me to be his go- girlfriend, that wasn't shown. But I'm pretty sure when that happened, like we were naked. Where in the world are you right now? Um, I'm in Canada, in Vancouver. You're in Canada right now. Okay, yeah. so I mean, what's just? I mean, just out of interest, what's it like over there? I mean, is it the same kind of rules? Are you only allowed to go out to essential shops, etc.? No, it's pretty laid back here. Like everyone's at the beach, everyone's at the park. Like everything that's not essential is kind of closed, like hair salons, nail salons. But other than that, like everyone's just chilling. Like there's no really strict rules. Oh wow! Okay, great. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it, it's. I mean, it's different all over the world right now. But listen, yeah. it, this show is is weird, wonderful, um, very <laughs> addictive to watch. Uh, for those people that are listening right now that don't know, uh, it's a Netflix show where a group of very attractive single people are put together in a villa. I know you've heard that tagline before, but a talking <laughs> cone, right, called Lana, helps them uh, learn how to form meaningful connections. Okay. Now, Francesca, you all start with a hundred thousand US dollars, and every time people yeah. in the retreat make physical contact, uh, yeah. money gets deducted from the, the total. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So no kissing, no nothing, no anything. Mm-hmm. I guess my first question is, how did you find it? Before the rules or after the rules? Because those are two different situations. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but you don't really get too long before the rules. Yeah. It. We actually had a few days before the rules came out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, after the rules were dropped, it was really hard because I had already formed like a relationship with someone at that point and we were able to like kiss and that was all stripped away. But honestly, as like the viewers can see, I was kind of a little bit of a rule breaker. So the talking code did not stop me from like doing what I wanted. You to weren't do. a rule breaker, <laughs> were you? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> now, I have to ask, because in real life, I mean, let's be honest, a lot of people can go 24 hours without touching or kissing anyone. Mm-hmm. Um, why do you think everyone in the in, in the retreat found it so hard? I think, well, first of all, when you tell someone not to do something, mm-hmm. it kind of just makes them want to do it more. And we were there for a long period of time. So it was really hard. Like, we were all in bikinis. We were put in these crazy workshops where... We were like getting really emotional and we were forming relationships. So that just made it really harder because being around people you're really, really attracted to and not being able to touch them is just like, yeah, it was extremely difficult to do that. But like, obviously I like slipped up a few times and (laughs) lost some money. You actually cost the most amount of money. I did. (laughs) (laughs) You're proud of that, aren't you, Francesca? I can see it. Honestly, I don't regret it. I definitely don't regret anything like I had a fun. I had a good time. So, well, you made it really entertaining. Like we're all big fans of yours, and um, <laughs> I just wondered though, because obviously you did find it quite hard not to break the rules. But do you think you learned anything from not having that physical contact? Did it Did it help? Yeah, I think the workshops that we did um, definitely helped because they were very, very emotional, and it kind of like made you tap into like these inner emotions that you really didn't know that you had. And we learned a lot about ourselves. We learned a lot about how to treat other people how to treat yourself how to treat relationships it was just like this weird experience that started off like super sexual and then just ended up being like we all grew like crazy and we're all just like these new born again virgins after basically (laughs) well not me but (laughs) (laughs) have you have you watched the show back i watched it when it aired so i watched it last week when it came out Watch the whole thing. I mean... I binged in one day, yeah. You've done oh, it in one day, the whole thing. Just get it done. What was your favourite thing that happened in there that we didn't get to see? All my great moments, I think, were shown, like... Uh, when Harry asked me to be his go- girlfriend, that wasn't shown. But I'm pretty sure when that happened, like, we were naked. So I don't <laughs> think that could have been aired anyways. But yeah, <laughs> I think my favourite moment, like, one of them was definitely kissing Haley and walking around all sneakily being like who was it who was it like that was really fun and there was a lot there was like a few days before um lana revealed to the group that the cone sorry revealed to the group that it was us that kissed so it wasn't just the fire pit night we had to like be sneaky it was like a few days where we were just like who was it Mm, it was you wasn't it like it was it was a lot of fun (laughs) 